Alright, what's up guys, and welcome to something I've been starting to see reoccur a little bit on the YouTubes, which is a, well, I guess ranking of the Five Nights at Freddy's games, the nine that have come out so far, nine, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, yep, okay, I was making sure I didn't do math wrong. Um, so I know this is a tier list, but I was just like, screw it, I'm just gonna do a list on my own personal opinion. So ignore the fact that this is supposed to be a tier list and just think of it as ranking, okay? I'm going to put these in order from date because I'm just like that, I'm that person. Um, and I'm gonna explain which ones I like the most, which ones I like the least. For example, if you guys couldn't tell, if I hated FNAF 1, but I loved uh, FNAF World, it would be like this. That's that's not what's gonna happen, but you know, that's just an example. So it'll go from least favorite to like middle favorite to top favorite. Okay, so I'll go in order, and I might change things around. It might depend. I mean, I have a few cut clear ones, but um, or for a few select certain ones in terms of placement but I'll go over that when their turn comes around. Oh, by the way, just a quick disclaimer, I don't hate any one FNAF game. I think all of them are good. If I was just given all the FNAF games and I was forced to only play one for the rest of my life, which ones I'd rather play more or, and which ones I'd rather play least. Simple as that. I don't hate any game. None of them are bad. Just letting you know. So don't hate me if you happen to like a game that I don't like as much. Alright, 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 FNAF 1. FNAF 1 is obviously special, I mean, it's the core FNAF game, the one that started it all, and I was terrified it, of it. This game was the root, or the start of my nightmares. Um, but as for like present day gameplay, um, very simple, probably the most simple FNAF game out of all of them. Um, two doors, two lights, blah blah blah, you get the gist. But I guess FNAF 1 is so simple for me that it's like a bit slow. Alright, so my what I'm saying is like all the FNAF games are like faster pace, but FNAF 1 feels like the slowest to me. Not a lot goes on really unless you're playing like 420 mode or something. It's a bit like lackluster compared to the other ones and I know that's kind of like harsh to say considering oh it's the first game of course it's gonna be more simpler than the others but I feel like it's just aged with time like a lot of other things have. Um, I still love the game and the cast the cast of characters is solid. You got your Freddy, your Bonnie, your Chica, and Foxy and Golden Freddy but yeah you know um, so I, for now, I'm going to place FNAF 1, I'm gonna put it in, th I'm just gonna put it in the middle, I'll put it in the middle if, um, if I, like, prefer another game to it, and I happen to bump it down, then that's just what's gonna happen. Alright, FNAF 2, I can easily say is better than the first one. Um, it's FNAF 1 on crack, basically, it's... Like, when I first saw it, I was thinking that you got almost triple the amount of the first characters. And I, I just love the character designs. The The toys are alright. Um, I don't find them as scary as some other people. They're alright. Like, the only ones I think are scary are Mangle and the Puppet. And that's kind of it. The rest are just kind of too kid-friendly for me. Uh, the Withered animatronics, though, are awesome. They are super duper cool. Some of my favorites. Withered Bonnie is amazing. Withered Chica is scary. And Withered Freddy and Foxy are solid too. Um, in terms of gameplay, it's also really solid. It's harder. It's more like action, er, action packed. It's not really action packed. It's just a lot more spastic, which was what the first game was lacking. Um, the fact that you lose your doors and only have a mask and a flashlight pr to protect yourself was was pretty crazy and the fact that there are more mechanics basically than the first game was also really cool so 
Um, in terms of cons for the game, one of the only cons is I think the music box camera. Um, since you had to basically stay there for the whole night and couldn't really explore, like, when phone guy tells you, oh, you can shine your light through the cameras and that'll stop the end of a truck, you can't really do that since you basically have to be glued to the music box at all times. But otherwise, gameplay is pretty dang good. It's hard. Sometimes I feel like it's unfair with Withered Foxy and stuff, but otherwise, I think it's really solid. So I'll put it in. I'll put it in third place. Actually, no. Let's put it in fourth place for now. Um, it's definitely better than FNAF One, hands down. Um, but I definitely think I like some more games more. Um, but FNAF 2 is really great overall. Definitely recommend it. Um, FNAF 3. FNAF 3. I, I absolutely love Springtrap. He is one of, if not my favorite character in the whole series. The Phantoms, they're decent. They're basically just reskins for the most part. Otherwise, they're alright. I wish they did, like, at least, like, one or two of them maybe killed you. That's one of the only gripes I have about FNAF 3. Well, actually, there's multiple. Um, that Springtrap's the only one that's killed you. And at first I was like, yeah, that's fine. But then I was like, it's it's kind of, it's just weird that only one can kill you and the rest are just there to mess up your day. Good things about FNAF 3. Um, I really like the environment of Fazbear's Fright. Really cool. Um, like the green hue over everything just makes it look super duper cool. And, um, again, the design of Springtrap is super duper amazing. And the fact that the purple guy, William Afton, that we all thought we'd never see in person in the games. Well, you're still not technically seeing it in person. You know what I mean. Was, was the main dude in Springtrap, which was super dope. And I also like the mini games. Um, those were cool as well. Um... If the uh, the good ending mini games were a bit confusing, but otherwise they they're good. They were they're good, and the fact that there's actually two endings is really cool. In terms of flaws, though, FNAF three I feel like is hands down the easiest FNAF game out of all of them. Easier than every game, I'd say it is the easiest FNAF game. Um, which really draws it back. And it's basically even easier in Help Wanted as well, um, but I'll, I'll get to Help Wanted. Help Wanted is its own section. Um, so yeah, that's one of the few things that I feel like is really setting FNAF 3. If it was just like more difficult, maybe add a few more characters, it would have been better, I think. FNAF 3 is its definitely lower than the first two games. I think, for me, it's... Yeah, I think for me, it's seventh place. I believe it is. Yeah, it, it's definitely, it feels lackluster in terms of gameplay. In terms of story and stuff, it's great. But in terms of gameplay, which is, you know, the main reason everyone's playing it, is um just hindering it. If it if it was harder, I, I admit, it'd probably be like maybe six, maybe higher. I don't know. But for right now, it's seventh. All right. FNAF 4, I already know where this is going. It, this is my least favorite FNAF game. Why? Why is it my least favorite FNAF game? Well, first of all, it is terrifying. Um, aside from Help Wanted, it is the second most um, scary FNAF game. Why is it so scary? Well, it is because of its mechanics. First of all, you have to listen for breathing, and that is terrifying. That, that is terrifying. And the designs, the designs are really cool and really creepy. I feel like they fit the environment uh, of the game, which is also why it's scary. Um, and another reason why I don't like it as much is because it was the first FNAF game to not have cameras and door. Well, it had doors, but like, it, and I, I don't know. I know you can't have cameras in a FNAF game forever, but that just kind of, it just kind of threw me off. I don't know why, but it did. Um, like, I much prefer the camera waiting around. Sure, I'll, I'll have, like, movement here and there, but I just like the camera gameplay. Um, I, that's just me. Um, but onto the positives. 
um the nightmares again are really scary really cool um the fact that they're just basically like enhanced five fingers 15 sets of teeth animatronics is just super cool to me um and the dlc halloween dlc 2 was also pretty good uh i wish they just i wish jack oh uh what's it called bonnie and chica were just kind of were kind of a little bit different other than just basically reskins with a few minor tweaks here and there um but uh, as far as the others like nightmare mangle nightmare balloon boy they're good um and in terms of like the story and the uh eight bit games they're really cool too the fact that we actually saw the bite of 87 or 83 again it's still debatable i think the fact that we were able to actually see them kind of in action um yeah i think that's really all i gotta say um again it, it is still my least favorite fnaf game the main reason i just don't like fnaf 4 is because of its mechanics and they just didn't fly by to me it's a hard game and i just didn't feel very like com i didn't feel very comfortable i didn't it just didn't feel like my standard fnaf formula to me so but otherwise if you like fnaf 4 that is totally fine if it's your favorite i'm not hating i exp i completely respect your opinion it's just my opinion because my opinion is completely correct definitely all right fnaf world fnaf world it, it was definitely a big change um so when i saw fnaf world i I, I forget who I watched it, but I wasn't completely hooked into FNAF yet, and I watched it, and I was like, this got to be like a like a fan game or something like that. But no, it was real, and I was like, wow, I I gotta play this, cause and I played it, and I just had I just had a lot of fun playing it, uh, truly and really, I did. It's not your typical point and click horror game. It's an RPG. It's a FNAF RPG where everyone is cute and. You're just going on this magical adventure through Candyland and stuff. And I thought it was a lot of fun. I legitimately did. I don't know why Scott hated this game. I don't know why, like, everyone else hated this game. I genuinely loved it. And when, uh, when it got its, like, 3D update and eventually update 2, that was so much fun as well. Um, and seeing all of, like, the Halloween characters and freaking Chipper and the coffee, coffee mug and all those guys... And, and just battling it out, out with appropriate moves, not just random moves, at, at least to me, was really cool and really, just really spot on. The only minor gripe or like complaint is that, like, I am so confused on whether FNAF World ties in to any of the story. Like, I still don't know any of that. Like, I want to know: Are there certain parts that tie in with the story? But yeah, that's it. I'm not going to speculate. <laughs> but yeah, uh, FNAF Road goes in 6th place for me. Um, not as good as the original FNAF. I will like that better. But FNAF World, to me, just feels like a lot more fresher than some of the other games. And uh, I feel like... Uh, one more thing. In terms of replay, I think FNAF is... I'd say the third best. There are, I feel like uh, Ultimate Customite and uh, Help Wanted had that a little bit higher replay value than uh, FNAF World, but otherwise, it's good. It's really good. I love FNAF World. You just have, you should definitely play it. Sister Location. Sister Location. The gap between FNAF World Update 2 and Sister Location felt like a freaking eternity. Um, yeah, it just felt so long. And when I was looking at the trailers and everything, and I saw that we were actually moving from room to room, it it was honestly so cool to me. But it was, I guess you could, I guess you could call it like locked room, because you know free and lock. I don't, I don't know, unfree, blah blah blah. And sister location is good. Like it is really good. I don't think it's the best game, but it's a good game. Like definitely higher up there. Um. The characters are really good, um, and the design of them with all the face plates and stuff. Funtime Friday is my favorite character from that game, hands down. I love his voice. A first FNAF game with proper voice acting. Like, that was insane. Insane to me. 
Like, I was seeing all these fan-made videos showing, like, the animatronics talking, and the fact that we were getting official product where the FNAF characters were talking was insane. And, uh, also for it to be the first game where you're not just sitting in one office and doing the same thing over and over and over, but harder, and actually exploring around and doing different mini-games, basically, um, was really, really cool. Um, the different endings were cool, the second game with different endings, um, real and fake ending, but yeah, um, so, those are the pros, those were the main pros. I do have a, quite a few cons for this game. Alright, so one, the environment to me was kind of, kind of gave me mixed vibes. I liked it, but then I also kind of hated it because everything was just so sickly purple and blue and white to me. For, at least for me. I don't know why I didn't like it, because FNAF 3 is all green and stuff, but I, I don't know. Um, but that, I, I guess that does, I guess that's just me. Um, and one final thing what is the custom night. After, after like, uh, two, well, technically three, two main series FNAF games, we're getting the, uh, the custom night back. And I was super excited because the custom night was pretty cool. And the fact that we're getting like new mechanics and stuff for all, all the uh, characters was really cool. But I looked at the roster and I was like, what? What happened? Like you got Funtime Foxy, Funtime Freddy, but then you got Lobit and Yendo. And I was like, okay, Easter egg characters, that's cool, I guess. And then you got Bonnet which is a recolored bonbon. You got Electro Bab, which is a bitty bab with yellow eyes. And you have Mini Arena 2, which is literally the same character, just a different mechanic. So the roster for me on that game, uh, on that mode, I guess, was a little bit kind of boring to me. But, but the uh, cutscenes at the end and the fact that I saw Springtrap again because again, Springtrap is probably my favorite character. It was really cool. So, with all those out of the way, I think I'm going to put Sister Location. I'm gonna put Sister Location in. I'm gonna move Sister Location here. FNAF 1 there, World there, that there, and that there. Okay. Pizzeria Simulator. I also know where this is going. This is going in 8th place. Why is it going in 8th place? Well, I was pretty dang hyped for Pizza Reassimilator when it came out. The fact that it wasn't all as it was turned out to be, and it would turn out to be FNAF 6, was really cool. I really liked the simulator part. Like, the, like the fact that I was actually able to make uh, my own pizzeria and make my own characters. Uh, well, not make my own characters, but buy my own characters for my own restaurant was really cool. Um, I feel like it was a little short. And I feel like you should have gotten more ways to make your own money. But otherwise, I thought the simulator part was really cool. The main game was alright. It definitely wasn't as fun as the simulator part, but it was alright. Um, it's difficult. Uh, it's tedious. It's definitely different. It's another game without cameras. It wasn't. A, it was the first game where you don't have to uh, survive to 6 a.m. While at the same time you have to stay in the exact same place over and over and over. Um, the salvage mini games I thought were cool. They were scary. I thought they were good. Um, I feel like the uh, there's just like the main game of it just really hindered Pizzeria Simulator. Otherwise, I thought a lot of the game was cool. I think I thought like all the wrapped up loose ends of the lore was good. I felt like I feel like if this was Scott's last game, which obviously it wasn't and it still isn't, um, I would have been satisfied with the whole tr uh, what do you call the thingy when it, there's six games. I would have been happy with the ending, put it that way. Um, I just feel like that part is just hindering Pizzeria Simulator. But otherwise, it was really good. I like the the salvage characters. I like the rock stars. I like all of them pretty much. All right. Last two, Ultimate Customite is going in second place. Um, and I could just throw up on it because you know where it is at this point. All right, why do I like Ultimate Customite so much? In terms of all the FNAF games, 
uh, Ultimate Custom Night has pretty dang good replayability. Um, mainly because, well, for one, you have the most animatronics out of any FNAF game in the game, and they're all, pretty much all customizable, except for like a select flu, f flu, few that are hidden from view. But you know. Um, and in terms of, um, like, uh, the gameplay, well, again, everything's customizable, so you can have, like, just, you can do, like, you can make your own challenges, you can do whatever you want. Um, in terms of gameplay, um, it's hard, or easy, depending on, again, how you customize it. Um, but it's just fun, like, I was, ever since FNAF World came out, I was ecstatic for there to be an official scary game point and click crossover five nights of Freddy's game and we got one and i'm pretty dang satisfied with the roth roster i would have preferred a few i would have preferred a few different characters to certain other characters but i'm not here to debate about that um in terms of why it's in second and like any cons or pros or well i went over the pros technically uh any cons uh the uh cutscenes were weird and didn't really make much sense except for the very end one but otherwise eh but yeah i know my my explanation on ultimate custom Night is kind of short but it's just like one of the most perfect fnaf game crossovers that i've ever seen or probably will ever see. And now on to Help Wanted. Why is Help Wanted my favorite FNAF game? Well, I got my Oculus Rift S specifically for FNAF Help Wanted. I had never played a single FN uh, a single VR game ever uh, up till that point. Um, I got it and I started playing it, and it was the first game in a while like like once i started getting into the flow of fnaf it really didn't scare me that much anymore like aside from fnaf 4 all the other games like i'd get like maybe startled a couple times but nothing really made me go ah and scream um help wanted to change all of that and i'm happy it did it's terrifying it's the scariest fnaf game out of all of them and it looks like it, it's also the best looking fnaf game ever like seriously, like if you're if you're look up close and personal with these animatronics, you want to see like dirt and grav gravelly like cuts all over them, and you see that in Help Wanted. Um, and like in terms of like content, it's probably the biggest one with content. Like it has FNAF One, FNAF Two, FNAF Three, um, all those games, and that's really cool too. It's also a technical crossover game. And the fact that there's more content in the future. We just, like a week ago, I think we got um, the Withered Animatronics in FNAF 2. That was super cool as well. Um, and yeah, I know this is kind of like short and all that, but that's just really why I like FNAF Help Wanted. It's fun. It's It has good replay. I think it has the best replayability. Um, it's scary. It looks fantastic. And it's, it's just good overall. Um, in terms of any cons for the game, um, I, I, there are just a few nitpicks here and there. Like certain jump scare sounds are bad, and I feel like some kind of some kind some of the jump scares are a bit too hard to see, so they kind of break immersion. But otherwise, it's really good. And out of all the games, I would definitely recommend Help Wanted if you have a VR set, of course. But yeah, that's basically it. So this is my opinion-based ranking of the FNAF games. So this video has gone long enough, so I'll just end it short really quick. Um, if you guys like the video and want to see more videos just like this, um, not just gameplay, but other just kind of like tier lists and stuff, whatever you want to see, um, make sure to comment below. Uh, like and subscribe if you're new and check out the other videos on my channel and I will see you guys next time goodbye I hope I didn't make anyone mad